Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to look at surface area today. We are going to talk about the area of a rectangle, the area of a triangle, and then apply that to surface area of a solid. First off, area of rectangles. Rectangles are what, what area is. Let's start with that. Area is basically how many little squares can you use to cover a certain surface. So what we're going to do when calculating the area of a rectangle is um, you'll take the two, the length of two here and kind of like divide it in half and this length of 14 you'll divide it also into little squares. So the squares would cover the entire area. Now, an easy way to do that, and the equation for solving the area of a rectangle, is just to multiply the length times the width of the rectangle. 14 times 2, and that gives you 28 square centimeters. And that's it. That's the area of a rectangle. You just take the length and you multiply it times the width. All right, it's, um, it's pretty straightforward. It is probably the easiest um, polygon to to calculate the area of. Maybe square might be a little easier, but it's pretty straightforward. So here's one for you. I want you to calculate the area of this rectangle. Pause the recording. Try and solve that one on your own. And we are back. Did you multiply 4 times 5? If so, I hope you got 20. And that's correct. That's how you find the area of a rectangle. You just multiply the length times the width. Very straightforward. That's exactly how you do it. In the second part of this, we're going to talk about triangles. Now, I want to show you one type of triangle here. Not this one, obviously, because this has four sides, so it would be called a rectangle. There we go. I've just made two triangles. If you think about this visually, it will help you with the area of a triangle equation. The triangle is half the area of a rectangle. All right. Now, we're going to work with triangles that have different shapes, but you will always follow this same exact equation, and that is the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle, so basically the length times the width of a rectangle, and then you divide it by 2. All right. So that's the, the equation, and we're going to show you, um, I'm going to show you how to use that real quick. Here's our first triangle. It has a base of 5.5 and a height of 7. If you want to try it on your own, go ahead. You just multiply those two numbers and then divide by 2. Here is the equation set up. The base is 5.5. The height is 7. We multiply those two. That will give us 38.5. And then you say 38.5 divided by 2. And your final answer is that the area of this triangle is 19.25 square centimeters. That's it. The base times the height of the triangle, and then you divide it by 2. Here's a triangle that looks a little bit different, but you're going to use the same exact strategy. Go ahead and pause the recording and see if you can get this one. And we're back. The area is the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle, and you divide it by 2. So in this case, the base is 12. The height is always the perpendicular from the base up to the vertex. With, um, with right triangles like we were using before, it is also at the edge of the triangle, but it's not always the edge of a triangle. It is always the height of the triangle. So let's multiply. 12 times 13 gives you 156. You divide that by 2. That'll give you your area of 78 square centimeters. The one thing people can do to mess you up on this is to give you the length of a side of a triangle that you don't necessarily need. All right? So just remember the base, the height is the perpendicular from the vertex down to the base and then you divide that by 2. You keep that in mind, and you'll do OK with area of a triangle. Our last part is surface area. Surface area is kind of like picturing this three-dimensional solid as a chunk of wood, and you need to paint it. And you're asking yourself, how much paint would it take to cover all sides of this solid? All right, so I'm going to do this. I am going to find the area of each side 
and then add them all up. Now that's not a big deal because we know how to calculate the area of a rectangle. So it's really combining together that really simple equation and then just adding together our answers. I think the hard part of this is keeping track of which sides you've already done. So I'm going to show you a trick that I use. I'm actually going to paint each side. So let's do this. I have um, this figure here that is 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So I'm going to pick a side and I'm going to color it red. And obviously you can't do this on a computer, but if you have it printed out, you could check, put a check mark or highlight the sides after you do them. Okay. The area of this one is 2 times 3 because that is 2 and that is 3 in this picture. Obviously, they, they look, they're a little bit off, but there you go. Okay, so that's 2 times 3, which is 6. 6 square centimeters. Now I'm going to do this side. This side is also 2 times 3, which will give me 6 square centimeters. Now I'm going to do the bottom here. And the bottom, it's 3 centimeters across and 6 centimeters this way. So it's 3 times 6, which is 18. Same as the top, 3 times 6, which is 18. I apologize, my rectangles aren't, or my parallelograms there aren't lining up perfectly, but you get the point, right? So I've done the, the bottom and then the top. I've got two more sides. I'll do the back first. And that one is 2 centimeters up and down times the 6 centimeter length. And then I'm going to do the front, which is also 2 times 6. So I was able to paint it red, um, and the colors lining up perfectly don't really matter um, as you're going through this. As long as you're marking each side, you can mark them with a little green check mark, and that's fine too. So let's go ahead and add those up. I've got the two ends, 6 plus 6, 18 plus 18 for the top and bottom, front and back, 12 plus 12, and that gives me a total of 72 square centimeters as my surface area. So that's how much paint it would take to completely cover this in red. I guess I've used red. So we go back to the shape that we started with at the very beginning, the 2x2x7. Two by two by um, it's the same picture because that's just going to save me time making this video. But you go ahead and try to find the surface area of that. Make sure to calculate all the sides, all the faces, and add them up. All right, so I'm going to do them the same order I did them before. I'm going to calculate this side, this face, 2 times 2 is 4. This face, 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to calculate the surface area of the bottom, 2 times 7 is 14. And the top, 2 times 7, again, 14. I'll calculate the front and back. The back first, which is, if you look right here, the height here is 2 times 7, and that's a rectangle. 2 times 7 is 14 again, and the front is another 2 times 7 is 14. So with this one, there's a little bit more because two of the measurements are the same. But if that's what you got when you calculated all of them, then adding them all up, you should have gotten 64. All right, 64 square centimeters. So did that make sense for you? We talked about area of a rectangle. We talked about area of a triangle, and then we used area of a rectangle to calculate surface area. Hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.